Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, video on this um, Rita Berman ice cream um, sort of page. Um, it is from her summer book and uh, we did this one yesterday so if you missed that video um, you can look at at the end, go back and find it. But we're going to be doing this one today and we have um, three scoops of ice cream in a cone. So I'm going to start with a cone. Now I think it's easier with a cone like this to start with a pale colour, go over it all and then add in some darker areas for where we think shadows might be. So I'm going to start with number 16. It is quite a pale goldy yellow but that's, I think this cone would be quite pale. There are different types of cones, um, the sort of waffle cones and the sort of more cheaper normal cones. Now I don't know what you have in the country that you are in but in the UK the waffle cones tend to be the more expensive ice cream parlours um, and the, the ice cream man that comes to the door um, and comes to the street and his van tends to have the cheaper cones and this is what I think this looks more like although it's a sort of triple cone which is interesting. So that's my base, it's really simple but I'm now going to just do some shaping on the cone with this colour. So I think it would be darker here on the edge. If we do it a darker here and then just gently oops, bring that colour in and fade it. We can just make it look a little bit more rounded than um, it perhaps looks from the drawing. Obviously unless you draw in shade on or shadow on your picture you can't really emphasize the shape. If we make it a little bit darker on the edge it makes it look a little bit more round because it's not a flat two-dimensional object is it? We can just fool the eye to thinking it's a little bit more three-dimensional. Sorry you're slightly sliding out of, sh out of shot. There we go. But now I'm thinking that each of these, this is, these are on top and this is slightly behind is what I'm thinking. So I want to emphasize that. So I'm going to use the next darkest color which is 49 and just put in some shadows along these line here. Try and get it to show up. All the way around each of the little squares to try to make it look like those bits are slightly raised because these sort of sorts of cones tend to have a texture. I remember how soggy the ice cream cones used to go when I was little. So I could never eat my ice cream fast because I've got sensitive teeth. I think that's one of the reasons I'm not a fan of ice cream. So it always hurt um, to... My, my mum used to bite the ice cream and uh, I couldn't, and she reckons she's got sensitive teeth, I don't know how she did it. I think her teeth are only sensitive to hot or something, not cold. But um, I used to just lick it. My tongue would go numb and uh, I just, it would all dribble and make a big mess and the cone would go all soggy. So uh, I used to prefer um, to have a tub of ice cream with a spoon. You can eat it more slowly because it doesn't, it's not going to dribble anywhere and uh, it was much easier. But when I was young I was never allowed a tub off the ice cream man because it was more expensive. And I'm going to use the number 73 because I want this rim here to look like it stands out across everything. So I'm just going to put a light shadow under there. I don't know if you remember, I remember wanting the ice cream man, but my parents would make me go and buy. So I'd have to run up, the, run to my parents, say the ice cream man's coming, because you'd hear him when you're in the garden. And uh, she might give you some money, but then you'd have to run up the street, and then you'd have to go and ask for everyone's ice cream and carry them back. Number 61, and I wasn't always that brave to uh, want to do that. So I'm going to make this one a sort of cherry. So it's quite dark, but I'm going to fade it. Um, I'm thinking it would be darker on the edges. If we make it dark all the way around the edge like that, and then fade it towards the middle, because it's a sphere, 
of ice cream it would be darker on the edges if you think of a, a sort of ball or something like anything spherical and it just helps to emphasize that spherical shape we make it darker all around there we go so there is our first scoop of raspberry um, I often like doing a vanilla but it's quite tricky when you haven't got a background I think we'll try it we use our lemony yellow which is number 10 and we do it on this center one and we'll just see if we can get it to show up so the idea is the same as the other to make it quite dark on the edge the problem is it's quite lemony so it looks might look a little bit more like a not too vanilla -y. but anyway do our best you can always pick another pink or something if you want to do a purple have some blueberry or a mint mint chalk chip mm, my favorite i think i think there's something about the only reason i would have an ice cream was if i really was hot and needed refreshment and a minty ice cream is very refreshing. I know some people think it's revolting. I'm trying to pick my last colour. Of course we need chocolate ice cream. So number 76, I say of course. Yeah. Don't know if everyone likes chocolate ice cream. I'm going to do it the same as I did this one. It's a lot darker on the edges. This is actually how I did the middle one, but you just can't see because it's of the colour. So I'm going to try and fade it a little bit, try and avoid all the sprinkles. We'll have some fun with those in a minute. And move towards the centre. I wasn't going to use my Ergosofts because we're in a heat wave at the moment and they melt a bit. The paint on the outside can melt onto your hands if you're not careful, particularly when your hands get hot. I'm okay at the minute. Now I'm looking at the sprinkles and I'm thinking maybe we do some reverse colours. We did do that last time. But I'm thinking this these definitely look like chocolate bits to me. So I'm going to use my 76 to make them chocolate. We've got Neapolitan, haven't we? strawberry, vanilla and chocolate, although I said that one was rather cherry, but that's what it looks like now. And then maybe we'll do some um, cherry dots on the chocolate one, so number 61. Now you could get your white pen and draw a little bit of shine on some of the, um, on the dots and chocolate, no, sorry, and vanilla dots on the cherry, so number 10, but it won't show up on the on the yellow, but I don't think I'm going to worry, I think I'm going to leave it like that, it's quite plain and simple, now we do have a couple of triangles here and here, I'm wondering whether to do those in my chocolate colour, but they actually go across the whole page, there's some at the bottom as well, so I think I'm going to leave it because there's triangles on this shape and things like that so I'm just going to leave it for now and, uh, and we'll worry about those at the end but there is our ice cream cone um, that was quite a short video actually but um, I am only going to be doing one item per day so uh, they may be shorter videos um, for now but uh, that's okay it's too hot for me to be too long in this room <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, hopefully it'll be alright for you anyway but thank you so much for watching um, I hope that you have a really lovely day um, stay cool and happy colouring